Good morning, everyone. Today is Trash It Tuesday, and um, we're going to work on this folio that I've put together um, in the past few weeks. I feel like I've been doing this forever and not getting anywhere, so hopefully I can get some things done uh, today. Um, the first thing I did here was I made a uh, backing for this journal card that was all kind of, you know, pieces put together. And I wanted to use fabric tack, but I cannot get it uh, to work, the two bottles that I have. So I think I might wait because I think I'll go buy some fabric tack. Um, I can't. I can't think of anything else that will hold it quick enough, um, especially to the metal part. So I'm going to set that to the side for now. Actually, I could probably put a little bit of, um, let me put some glue stick, kind of, yeah, I'll just put a little dab in the middle, and then I can actually probably pull that apart when I need it. Don't want to lose this or so I hope everybody's doing well and getting to Christmas done Christmas I haven't even my granddaughter's birthday is the 14th of December and um, it's just really hard <laughs> she's 18 and you know they don't want anything they just want you know money or something so okay well what I'm gonna do is um, I think I'll just glue this part onto the page. Here, let me move this out of the way. Because I'm going to put this envelope back where it was, if you remember. Um, yeah, that gets glued down. And this envelope will open up and we can put stuff in it. But I want to decorate it somewhat. So... Because um, this envelope is so long, all my papers are basically too short to use this way. So I'm going to have to go this way with them. And I um, don't want that white line on there. So I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to glue this down. And um, I might sew around it. I have to decide. Since it's going to be all the way open, I could go around it really nice. Sew it. That way it would be real secure to the edges. All right, so I hope this isn't boring for you, but some things I wanted to get done before I did the next video, but I can't seem to get to it. And I am cutting a little bit of the envelope off, which I don't want to do. So I just left a little bit on the back side so that um, the edges will be covered. Just put some glue stick there. I don't know why I'm using my good glue. All right. Oh, that looks nice. Let's just leave it. <laughs> I like that together. All right. So let's see. Let's do this on this side. So, do it like that. Make sure I have enough. Well, I want to make sure that I don't. Cover that. Let me get my other glue stick. So I'm just not in the mood for Christmas yet. I, 
I do this every year. I kind of get, I get where I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to buy. I don't know how much money I'm wanting to spend. And then when the closer it gets to Christmas, uh, I run out and I buy other more gifts, especially for the grandkids. You know, it's like, like they're not going to get enough and they have everything they ever needed. So, um, I guess I should have cut that down a little bit. I'll just go like that. So there's nothing I can buy them that they, that they really want. So I thought maybe I would put, uh, you know, a gift card because they all want gift cards anyways. I should make them a box for their gift cards. I think somebody was doing that on YouTube. Who was that? They were making a box for their grandkids' gift cards that they get so that they don't lose them. Good idea. I'll just tell them I made the box for all the gift cards that they have that they're getting for Christmas. Oh, not very straight. So, um, but I thought about just. I actually was thinking about making boxes. I got a box pattern from, I believe it's My Porch Prints. I've got one from Pink Monarch, but hers are little boxes, like for gift card. Well, they're bigger than that, but, you know, the size. I bought that one to put those little mini uh, journals. I made the jello ones with the jello box. For my nieces, my great nieces. Okay, I still like this color, but I don't think that would be. Should I add another design in there or leave this? Get my wipe here. I see there's. Glue stick right there. Um, you know, I feel like if I do something else in here, I was thinking about using this. I'm just going to lay this down here like that. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna sew around it and leave it. So let me put a little ink around here. That was easy. I know this paper feels like it doesn't have anything to do with. Uh, the other papers, but I don't know. It just worked for me. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes things don't seem like they're compatible. But then in the end, um, this probably won't ink as well, but that's okay. Uh, in the end, they, they are. I don't know. At least that's the kind of the feeling I get when I do that. I think this is um, wallpapers from um, Taylor Made Journals. I'm pretty sure I got this wallpaper kit from her. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure. There's a lot of kits out there. All right, so that's that. Now, I'm going to put it on pause, and then I'm going to sew around it, and then we can glue it into our book. And it 
is. I got glue stick on it. On the spots. Because this is shiny, it's going to show up. Get it off. Okay. Whoop. Let me pause you and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I've sewed around here. But then, um, and I'm going to glue this down. But then I thought maybe this flap is not going to stay down. So I decided to, this was another trash it, uh, uh, video. I guess it, maybe it was trash it, maybe not. It's just cool. Um, where you take your uh, caps or the tabs from your soda can and cover it. Um, I have a video on that. I don't know exactly where it which one it's under, but um, kind of like this one here. And then I have this one, which I haven't inked or anything yet or sanded off because I just you know, put the paper on and then I come back later and sand and ink. Um, but I kind of think I like this one here. And then that will be clipped in and it would be like that. So I've got this brad. All I have to do is get this put in the right spot. So let me put a little let's see, I don't know what's I guess it doesn't matter what side. This side looks like it let's see, we don't want it upside down. But I don't know if this will punch it. I may have to get my yeah it's won't punch through the metal there. How about this well. So I can get it kind of straight. Okay, and then we don't need it to be too, too high up there. So since I have not glued this envelope together, it makes it kind of easy to prepare it for a tab like that. Oh, great. Of course not. Um... flat. It's one good thing about these flat, um, what do you call them, um, wax things. Oh, that wasn't really quite center. Oh, well. I just won't tell anybody, right? And it's a little tight, but that's okay. All right, so that's that. That's another piece of trash taken care of. And... I don't know about decorating it. Um, I kind of feel like it's... Oh, my drawers are falling out. My little card here, after a while, it starts to... The screws starting to loose. And then all my little drawers that I have start to fall out. All right, so... Let's glue it into the book. And this side here, I did a little bit. Um, I don't know if I did this on camera or not. This is like a belly band. I'm, I must have. And um, this little pocket here, that flip one, you saw that. Then I made this little um, tag with the, the Santa, that dome looking thing. So it's, it's a house, but... And then I made this little pocket here. 
And then this pocket here is for this house. Okay, which I will glue that all back together. And I am, I thought maybe um, if I took some paper, um, you know what I could use? I don't think I have them handy. Those um, guest tags and then at the top, make it look like a little house for writing purposes. I'll have to dig those out. Oh, that needs glued down. Washi. I tried to cover all these edges with washi. I didn't put glue, I didn't put glue on them. These were Tim Holtz. I thought they would. Gosh, that's messed up. I thought they would hold better. Yeah, because I just didn't like the edges. This one I didn't put one on. I put one on this edge. Okay. I'm just going to tie this up for a minute. So I need to decorate this also. All right. Oh, I'm freezing. All right, so we want that to open like that. Did I glue those? Nope. Oh, I guess I'll use art glitter because it's shiny and probably going to be hard to glue. And then again, it's hard to get the glue out. I think it just gets cold in here at night. And I mean, we have our excuses, right? <laughs> every For every season, it's because of this or that. It's because that's the way art glitter glue works. I don't know exactly why this, it looks like it was only glued down in a few spots. So, but um, yeah, we all, it's a challenge. And I put my, I put my um, fabric tag in the microwave for five seconds and it kind of seemed like it loosened it up a little bit it made it more runny and so i put it in for five more seconds but it's gone back to its natural thickness so i really think that this is not going to want to stick i really think that it gets to a stage you know and uh, it doesn't want to come out of it i I thought, well, if I put it in the microwave, it might get really liquidy again. And I put some acetone in there, nail polish remover stuff, and it didn't cut it either. Well, it won't mix together. That's the problem. I can't, even if I shake it and I try to steer it, it separates. So it's just not wanting to accept it. Oh, come on, just stick down for me, just for a little bit. Okay, well, I'll leave that like that. Okay, let's see what else we want to do. I want to put a pocket over here, and I'm thinking about putting a journal in here. I'm not... I would have to punch here, in here, and uh, tie it. But otherwise, what do you have? Not that, really not that much. Okay, so. This pocket, I don't want it to be too tight because I was gonna put this one in here with the deers things. So I think I'm going to make it have a, um, a gusset so that it won't be so tight because I have room, I think, 
on each of these sides without cutting people off. Um, about, I'll go three eighths. That should be wide enough. I was trying to think of something totally different to do, but it's not, nothing's coming to me. And I hate those moments where, you know, um, your creativeness just kind of escapes. I mean, decorating is one thing. It's, it's getting what you're going to decorate that <laughs> comes into play. something unique, different. I know at, um, I think I'll do like, uh, next year, maybe, a each week I'll do a, um, uh, flashback, video flashbacks and, um, pick something that I've made and make it again. I'm sure my style is totally different than it was back then when I first started. So it could be kind of interesting. And so, so many things I have forgot how to make. Or I don't remember making them. And there's just not a lot to um, do these days. I think everybody has actually thought of everything uh, well, I'm sure not everything, because there's always some, someone comes up with something awesome. Okay, so, and this will still fit, but I needed that space for the doorknob that I used that was a pine cone. Okay, so let's glue this down. I need, yeah, I need that, that low so I can fill it in. This one also, I have to do the back. I'll show you how I did it. It's not hard, obviously, if I can do it. <laughs> it can't be that hard. All right, let's see if this is ready to glue down. I still may have to come back in there with some more glue. It's the fabric. It's um, the uh, thread is what makes it a little hard to get it to glue down. Okay, so I'm going to try this one. I can get a lot more coverage. This should glue pretty good because it's paper against paper and it, none of it's shiny. So this journal, when I do a flip through, which could be today, I don't know, or probably next week, but when I do the flip through, then anyone who comments on that flip through um, I will put their name in the drawing for a free Trash It Tuesday journal, junk journal. I'm only going to do one video 
where I accept, you know, where everybody puts their name in. Um, and I would like you to subscribe. I'm not going to make it mandatory uh, when you put your comment in. But, yes, if you subscribe, that would be great. Because it's the only way that my channel would um, keep making a couple dollars. And it doesn't make any money. Um, but I always thought it would be fun to get a check now and then. Okay, what I do with that piece of cardstock? Um... Just had one. Okay. You've got to be here. I thought I had it in my... Oh, there it is. In my scraps. Okay. So this was one that... Um, when I printed it, didn't come out. Right? So... That's okay. Nobody's going to see it. No, wait a minute. Is that correct? I think I want... Yeah, this is the way I want it to go. my chimes that means my mom is in the neighborhood <laughs> every time I hear the chimes a friend of mine gave me for when my mom passed away and I think of her I had last night I had a hard time sleeping falling asleep because I was thinking about my mom and our Christmases and it kind of maybe that's the problem I'm feeling that Christmas is not the same anymore. Although I used to dread it because not dread Christmas, I mean dread taking my mom shopping because <laughs> I always thought if, when I get old enough, I can get people whatever I want because or you know, stupid things like I don't know. I saw it on TV kind of thing, <laughs> but because my mom, she would buy pajamas every year, and I know that people do need new pajamas, but <laughs> I think most people, I don't know, have their favorite and they just continue to wear those same ones, but. And, and then she'd buy all the guys uh, a t-shirt. Um, no, no design, no designer t-shirt, just a Walmart t-shirt. And then she would get him those uh, little pants that, the lounging pants, which was nice. But she couldn't decide like what color to get what person. And it's, it was just difficult to take her. And then she didn't want to spend any money, you know. Didn't want to get... And she had it. It's not like she didn't have money. But when you grow up in the Depression, such as her, they are very tight with their money. Because they don't know if it's ever going to, if they're ever going to have any more, you know. And maybe the last book they have. But she wasn't, she was generous, but. Okay. And she used to make a goodie bag. She's, she loved to cook. So my grand, my kids, mostly, and my, uh, her other grandkids, my brothers and sisters, they would get, I'm going to try to glue this down with um, 
Oh, I have a dot there. Glue it down with this. Um, what was I saying? She would make them a box of goodies. Like three or four different kinds of cookies. And she would buy, back in the day, candy bars and M&M's. You know, special M&M's when they came out with the Christmas ones. And the kids loved them. Oh, and she, you know, maybe put a little, one of those dollar type store. Well, back then it was dime store stuff. Uh, like a little bouncy ball or jacks. Or, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know if anybody plays jacks anymore. They're missing out if they don't. That was so much fun. Or marbles. You know, she would put marbles in. Even when I was a kid, we'd get marbles and jacks in our little stockings. Okay. That's kind of an awkward <laughs> house, but it is. Sometimes my inking is just horrible. I feel like it kind of needs to be stamped or something back here. Okay. All right. So this one is going in here. We don't really get to see the little boy. And then let's see, do I have, um, these are too big for that. These would be cutest in, in the journal. I, in the journal, I'm not going to, um, decorate it. I mean, I'm not going to put pockets and stuff. I will let you guys do that. I don't know why I'm cutting that. You don't want to watch that. I'm trying to find, let's see what else. A couple tags here. Now these I made, they were uh, Rachel's um the journal cards that she made in her weekly, but I don't have journal cards to put in those. So, let's see, I've got this. That's Look at how they put my name on this. Brown Bag Cafe, I don't know where that is. Somewhere around here. I'm just thinking if I covered this, I could make it a little journal card in there. Hmm. Okay. How much time do I have? Well, let's just make a couple journal cards. It won't take but a second. Because that's what it's designed for, to put a journal card in there. And I was, um, it just popped up on my, um, I guess I could just do that. On my um, YouTube videos, this girl, now I'll explain it to you. She was using, uh, you know, a uh, trimmer like this and she had the Fiskar. Um, and then there she was complaining about uh, some Fiskar that doesn't work very good. And 
anyway, I wasn't paying attention because I wasn't going to buy that big, huge one anyway, because it's just too big. Um, but she was saying that you have two blades on here. Uh, one, you know, on this side and one on that side. And she also said, if you hold your paper up here and, you know, you're going to run your blade to use your blade going from the bottom to the top. Okay. Always that way you're only, well, the reason you go from the bottom to the top, if you're using this ledge is so that the paper doesn't move because she showed it and it does move whether you think it does or not. That's why people say, oh, my trimmer is not that good. It's because the paper moves. I don't know. Let's see. Well, I know that one was a tad bit bigger anyways. Then if you, um, and never to press on this, this thing they have here, because when you press on that to, to hold it down, it actually opens the bar, which makes your cutter kind of be more wonky you see it, it's not secure then the other thing she said if you're going to use the bottom one to cut i'm just going to pretend if you use the bottom ledge because you don't like to look up that far then you go down okay so that you're pushing it the right direction and then if you only use one side of your blade, what she did was she marked it after she, when she used this one side every time, because she goes up every time. Uh, when she was done, she marked it and then took her blade out, turned it around and used the other side of the blade. So basically you're getting two, two blades for one. Okay. Does that make sense? I thought so. And I thought it was a great um idea to save on your blades and to keep your papers you know straight all right so let's get um let's do this course I got I still got a little bit at the top of that oh well it doesn't matter it's just a junk journal it doesn't matter but it's pretty amazing what you can use all your stash your little junk stuff for um, backings and things like that like these these journal oh not gonna work on another paper i don't care what it is as long as it sticks to it <laughs> um yeah they make nice strong card backs If you're going to cover both sides of them anyway. Gives that extra strength. Instead of using your good cardstock. Okay. That one would work for a background. Okay, it's all sticky. Mm, that's 
part of the paper or yeah I think it is okay so now I need so like this can go here but I just need to cover the backs of them like so I may need to sew around them so I'm not going to put the backs on them because I will sew the backs on so let's see um let's see if we can find um my Tim Holtz people are in another room my other room because I was doing stuff but let me see if I can find because I do have some Tim Holtz carrot oh, these guys see they're too big or no they're not they fit and they're in their winter coats I don't know they look better on that or on that I kind of like them on that and these are in their winter coat perfect okay gotta look just to keep and just in case uh, I have to decide on something else <laughs> it's like okay so oh what time do I have so I just keep running out of time but I like these they're kind of like they have a glare that's the problem with them on the Oh, come on, nails. Just going to give them a little ink on their white uh, edges. Now, I ordered the little mini ones. Um, and I was disappointed because, I don't know, I don't read very well. <laughs> I don't read the... The descriptions enough I, I just think oh yeah that's like the ones I have and I'll just buy them and but they're black and white and I don't like black these are sepia tone and then I have some that are I had bought another set and they were black and white and I thought you know they didn't give you an option of uh, to what if you wanted them in sepia or if you wanted them in black and white. I think he should give you an option. Okay. So we'll put them there and those there. And it would be kind of cute to maybe put... Do I have any kind of a label... I have these trees. Hmm. I don't think I have room for a tree. I'd rather just use stuff that I have instead of. I'm just going to see about this. No. That would be cute in the back of a little pickup truck. I had a little pickup truck. Okay. That's what Tim Holtz needs to do is like little pickup trucks and little tractors and things like that. Okay. Let's see. snowflakes oh I just want something that's got hmm. well how about I don't know where anything is it's 
not like they don't have a backdrop, right? But I just feel like they need something else. happy with something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should have made this. It's nice if they're standing on something, but if they were standing on snow it would be cute. The problem is if I ink, I don't know if you guys noticed it, I don't know, do I have that video out yet? Well, all I know is I use some of the uh, textured paste. And where I inked, um, it, it, it leaked, not leaked, it stained through the white. So now it looks like dirty snow. <laughs> you'll, if I haven't put that up yet, you'll see it soon. Um, yeah, it wasn't happy about that. Maybe I kind of like that background. I think I'm just going to leave it this way. Otherwise, I will definitely run out of time here. seems like every day that I open something, um, it's today I was opening um, some balsamic vinegar to make a salad dressing that I use. And do you think I could get that bottle open? No. Let's see if this will glue these guys down. It's going to sew around this. I don't know if I will. I'm going to put them right down in the bottom so they look like they're standing there. Okay, let's do these guys real quick. Still needs like a label or something. I'll have to dig out label. I've ever used glue stick on Tim Holtz. It might be a good medium to get these to stick down. All right, let's put her. I think we'll put them down a little bit also. That way it looks kind of like they're standing on the bottom. They're going Christmas shopping. Become everything sticky. All right, let me see. Do I have what will we do without labels? I guess we would use butterflies or words. I don't know what words I could use. Mm -hmm. I have these that I got from. Jody. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's just too many things to decide on. Ah. Uh, yeah. That one that says I know that I was that I'm home would be cute on my houses though. Let's see here. see that? I feel like I'm <clears throat> well, that one doesn't look that bad. Kind of wanted something to you know print it on it. are all falling out. That one you can't even see. All right, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. This one here. Evidently his head didn't glue down, which is nice. I put the label behind it. time now yeah almost I mean I I usually plan an hour for a video but that words go in the right direction kind of like a picture on the wall would have been cute there but all right so glue stick on the top of these which is okay because it wipes off you can only see them because of the um, shininess the gloss All right, let's put these where they go, go and I'll do the backs of them. Okay, so one's going to go on this one. I should have rounded the corners, I wonder. All right, I'll do that when I go to sew the back on or glue it on, whatever I decide. I know these are kind of the same, but they go with this journal, so uh, that's why I'm using both of them. Plus, this envelope is a good size to hold both of them. All right, so I guess um, that's it. Um, if I decide to put a journal in, I will put it here on that side. And this, I put magnets in here, but they did not, did not work. I think that's where I put them. Oh, I wonder what I should do up 
here. Um, so this will close. It's just a matter of having to tie it closed now. Yeah, it goes this way, no way, it goes the other way. All right, so I'm going to do some fixing up. I can see I've got some pieces that are on the collage a little loose. I've got this tag in here, which I'm not real crazy about. I've got these um, two people stuck in there. I uh, might find something else to put another small tag for this. And these, I think, I'm going to make them a page in the journal because they're cute. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go, and I will see you in the next video. Um, I've got a few made ahead, so um, I don't know if I'll come back with this one as the giveaway yet, a uh, flip through, because it's going to take me a while to put a journal together. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.